for Jumpman. Hello again. It's Wednesday already again. And it's the 6th of the, no, uh, the 10th of June, 2015. And this is another Wine of Wednesday edition. To put my 9th, 10th maybe, something like that. Yeah, something like that. The wine we have for today, we're zip zapping back across the ocean to Chile. And this is called Yali Carmener, C-A-R-M-E-N-E-R-E, -E -E, 2011, from the Colchegu Valley. Uh, red wine, 13 and a half. Here's your close-up of the label. Okay, that should do, I guess. Now I'm going to get my, uh, this is my corkscrew bar tool that my brother sent to me from Berlin. I'm not too sure where he bought it. It's got some kind of a logo on it, M-E or M-F, W-N-F. Oh, that sounds right. So we use the blade part here to cut the foil. Hopefully that's done a good job. Well, maybe for a little bit more practice it'll be better. Oh, maybe I could have should have cut it down lower. And uh, these are used either for a bottle cap on a bottle, and but it also has a corkscrew in it. And you simply Screw it in, screw it in, and eat the lever here. Bert, she's going in. Now what do you do? This is the first time I ever used one of these actually, but I, I've seen an awful lot. This down grabs onto the edge and you pull up. Be damned. I broke the cork off. Must be something I did wrong though. Hopefully I can get this without having to shove it down inside. Maybe I should have torqued it down some more. Oh, that's got to be through there. Thirst blows, Jacques Cousteau. So, what have we learned so far? I need more practice with this doohickey. The waiters make it look so easy. Of course, waiters probably opened up thousands of bottles of wine. National Reserve, eh? Hmm. Nope. Oh. Sounds uh, smells like red wine <laughs> mixed with fruit. When I say red wine, I mean that's grape flavored. I just, I'm not uh, making it funny. Anyway, uh, smells like I don't know. It's, it's around me or something, but I don't know. Some kind of plums, maybe. Red plums, red berries, maybe some vanilla for balance. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. It's in Charlottetown, which is, uh, well, it's in Cornwall. That's an hour and 15 minutes away at least, so it's at 8. I'll have to get up around 6, have a shower, and uh, hit the road by 6.30ish. So it remains to be seen whether I'll drink this whole bottle or not. Yeah, it smells good. Hmm. Got a little bit of harshness at the end of that. It was smooth at first, then it got kind of harsh in the back of my... Uh, 
throat. Hi, Ben. Dry, yeah. Say hi to the folks at home. <laughs> Not out there, in there. Let's read what it specifically says. An excellent Carmen year. I've never heard of Carmen year. That's. Hey, you've got my cork. Well, I'll have to drink the bottle now. <laughs> ben broke the cork. Necklace come here of intense ruby color with aromas of ripe plums, ah. spices, a hint of chocolate, and vanilla, which is due to age in American oak. I said vanilla too. Blend of flavors and pleasant lingering finish make this wine an ideal accompaniment to pastas, roast meats, and spicy dishes. I think every wine goes with pasta, roast meats, and spicy dishes. Chocolate and vanilla. I said vanilla. Chocolate, you know, maybe that's the one I was looking for. It could have been the one. I really like dark chocolate and red wine. So if it has chocolate flavors, it should be good for me. That's good. I give it a solid three out of five. Thumbs up or whatever. Got some goodies today in the mail. Ooh, would you look at this? <laughs> look at that. German Deli. Now, this is in Texas, of all places, believe it or not. Thank you. Appreciate your customers. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God bless their carts. Look at that. Two little packages of Haribo gummy bears. Or they call them gold barons. I have to save them for my nieces and uh, niece and nephew. Now, what I, what I wanted to order from them is stuff called Crowder Butter. And it's, uh, hey, it's a woodpecker at my, uh, no, it's blue jay. Is it? No, it's a blue jay. Anyway, Crowder butter, which is kind of like, uh, I think it translates right into herb butter. I think kraut is, 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 it's not just slang for Germans from World War Two. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get it, uh, the butter, but they, they said they'd ship it in its own cooler, but they said it could only last three days, and they didn't know how long it was going to be held up a custom, so they couldn't do it. So, I got the next best thing. Four envelopes of Carter Butter Spice Mixture. All in German. That's all right. I can figure it out. So what you do is you get uh, probably a pound of butter with this. Butter seasoning with herbs. Ingredients. Oh, here we go. Table salt. Iodized. Onion, pepper, flavor enhancer. I guess that's MSG. Nope. MSG is the next one. Garlic, mustard seeds, parsley, lemon powder, leek, Chives, dill, lovage. Lovage is one of my favorite things. I can't get a grower down here. Uh, parsnip, paprika, celery, carrots. Use seasoning according to taste. I'll have to decipher the German here to see if it's good for one pound or half a pound or whatever. But, uh, yeah, four. So there's four in here. I thought I only got three. So that's one for me, one for my parents. One for my brother Andy and Lane. What am I up to here? <laughs> and one for Kevin over in New Brunswick. So that's pretty good. I'm still pretty, you know, that's pretty nice ribbon there. I'll make myself a German medal. Are there perishables in your order? Uh, oh, huh, okay. So that's the one parcel I got today. Really good. I can't wait to try that out. See the picture in the front? 
Now you can have this, once it mixes up with the butter, you can have it just on bread. But it's really nice to take a big slice of it, or a big, like, at least a tablespoon, and put it on a steak and let it melt and gooey and uh, just putting more animal fat on animal fat. So it's not necessarily uh, recommended by Weight Watchers or uh, those damn hippies. So the other one I got is from Bushcraft, Canada. There's their sticker. Uh, let's see. It's a box inside a box. I think about a wrapped in a riddle. And they always send me another sticker. I have many of them now. I'm running out of places to put them. There might be some presents in here, so I might have to uh, not show you everything. I think I'm good to go. What the heck's in this box? Oh, food storage, stainless steel bowls. And you may be wondering why am I getting bowls at Bushcraft? Because they were only $19.99, 20 bucks. Made in Thailand. <laughs> Zebra Thailand. Huh. I have those old plastic bowls that are starting to get discolored and the plastic's peeling off and I'm probably eating more. More plastic than uh, whatever's in there. This is a diamond whetstone by Fall Niven. Uh, I think it's a DC or a D3T. And there's sticky stuff on the other side. This is the diamond part of a DC4 sharpener. And just got the diamond part and there's adhesive, sticky stuff on the back. You peel it off and then you can mount this on the scabbard of the sheaf, sheaf or on. Uh, Back of an Altoid tin, uh, your forehead, etc., uh, etc. Et and I have a. This is called a sharpening device for a spoon knife. And it's got a little bit of a slope here on that side, and then it's rounded on this side. And that's for cleaning uh, or sharpening up your spoon knife to make spoons. What else do they call them? Spoon knife, hook knife, something like that. Anyway, uh, this is going towards my brother Andy. My brother Andy actually had a little class and taught four or five people how to make spoons the other day. I don't know whether he did it for money or just for a laugh. So, that's pretty good. Yeah. I got two pounds of butter waiting. Uh, to get melt, not melted, but soft, then I'll mix this stuff in. I'll make two batches, one for my parents, then I'll just give Andy the envelope, let him buy his own butter, and I'll keep one for Kevin the next time either I'm over there or he's over here. I think it's turn for me to, uh, my turn to go over there. We're all about uh, over drinking and overeating when we get together. Had a great uh, meal last Friday, celebrate my mom's birthday. I think it was on the beer video actually, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a blah day today. I had a few showers earlier on, but it's, uh, let's see now, it's uh, about 12, 13 maybe. It's supposed to be kind of like this all week. Or more sunny though, but not really hot, which is good. Get a lot of, well of work done, if you're so inclined. Uh, and I'm not so inclined too much, you know, I can, t I can tell. For the first five seconds when I wake up, whether it's going to be a productive day or just a blue day. Of course, after five seconds of drinking this, then I'll know what kind of a drinking day it's going to be. So I just replaced the uh, high beams in my truck with LED lights that I got yesterday from the States. So I got high HID on the fog lights and... The low beams are just normal halogen, and the high beams are, what did I say they were? LED, yeah. I was going to replace the low beams, but uh, they're a different bulb. So I might, uh, I'm going to town tomorrow, I might go to Canadian Tire and pick up some brighter ones. What I should do is actually clean the inside of the lens. I don't know if that's possible or not. Sounds like that dreaded work word again, to find out. And Germans and German.
You know why I did Because I looked down on the Germany thing there. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I guess the next time we'll see is Friday at the beer video. And I got invited up next door at the doctor's place for a housewarming party at 7 o'clock Saturday. And uh, I don't think there's much chance of me making that. I barely know them, and I surely won't know anybody else there. So me and crowds of unknown people don't do well. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's all i got to say, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good Wednesday and a good rest of the week. And getting ready for that law. We won't say long weekend. But look, weekend, yeah. Anyway, it's Chris. Out.